Hey guys, welcome to another review. Um, with this one, we're going to finish up for now with the J. Scott Campbell Fairy Tale Fantasy series. So um, I had this one in a while back, but just didn't have the time to uh, do a proper review. So uh, let's get to it. I've already talked quite a bit about uh, this sculpt uh, with the original. Uh, Little Mermaid over here. You can see this is the SciShow exclusive with the metal print in the background. So uh, this one is essentially a, a color, um, you know, a color variation of the exclusive. This is only available from SciShow's uh, retailers. And uh, it's basically the same statue with a different paint job. Uh, let's take a look at the ways it is different. Uh, number one, obviously, the tail is uh, a purple in color. You can contrast that with uh, the green here. Uh, her hair is much darker, uh, basically a brunette. Take a look over here. Um, and then she's also quite a bit more tanned than uh, the SciShow exclusive. Hopefully, with them next to each other, you can clearly see uh, the difference in terms of their skin coloration. Now, uh, I think in terms of the necklaces, this is the necklace on the SciShow exclusive, and this is the necklace on the retailer exclusive. Uh, they seem basically identical, okay? So I don't think the jewelry is uh, too different, but again, mainly just the coloration. Um, Everything I said about the SciShow exclusive holds true for this one. So um, the log and the base and the water effects are basically the same. So let's do a little bit of a panning. Check her out. Very nice. Again, you can see mildly translucent. <clears throat> a few things about um, these runs of Little Mermaids. Uh, there are some quality issues that have uh, since come to light. Um, number one, and very seriously, the place where the arms or the wrists are supposed to latch onto the hands there's a lot of problems with these for both um, this version as well as this version where um, these wrists don't come onto the hands perfectly it's off um, when i went to my local distributor to pick up this version both actually uh, didn't fit and we actually had to take the body from one and put it on another and there was enough give that we were able to latch it on. Um, so that's not too good that the first two opened, neither of them was able to fit properly. So that's something that has to be looked at. Um, and it's not a matter of wriggling or trying to get it in there, which is what SciShow's customer service is uh, going to be disappointingly ordered to tell you. Uh, this is a situation where essentially the resin or polystone wasn't allowed to perhaps cure properly and then um, it's set in an improper width and that's why it won't come down. You can try to superheat it with a blow dryer to get a little bit softer and try to gently spread apart the wrists, uh, but there's going to be some risk with that because if you do, you could snap it. Um, my advice would be to try to replace uh, the entire piece if this were indeed the case. Um, and this is a big problem and a significant quality control issue because they cannot guarantee that any body fits onto the log. Um, I was able to make this happen reasonably uh, well because I was there in person 
and we tried out different versions until um, it works. But if you are uh, not as fortunate as me and you're forced to uh, send it in and get a replacement, there literally is no guarantee that the replacement will have, again, arms that fit onto the hands. And so that's a big problem right there. Uh, other than that, I really like the coloration here. Um, the purple and the dark hair and sort of the tan, um, it sort of brings back, um, or it sort of is a little bit of a callback in my opinion to Vanessa, which um, for the Disney fans among you, you'll remember is actually the outer eagle of Ursula the Sea Witch. So in the Little Mermaid Disney version, um, Ariel, even though she had to sacrifice her voice, was actually um, such a good person and so sweet and kind that she began to capture Prince Eric's heart even without the ability to sing or to speak. And um, so at the very end, Ursula had to actually um, come herself onto land and uh, turn into her alter ego Vanessa and then she used the voice that she stole from Ariel to entrance uh, Prince Eric. Sorry for that background noise, that's the dishwasher finishing up. Um, and Vanessa has uh, black hair and uh, you know, sort of purple clothing. So this almost is to me is a little bit of a callback to maybe Ursula the Sea Witch in Vanessa form as a, an evil version of the mermaid actually. Um, so again, they look great next to each other. Um, I'm happy to have both versions. Uh, this is the inaugural piece in the J. Scott Campbell's Fairy Tale Fantasy line from Sideshow. And so it's kind of nice that they uh, show some support um, for their retailers and gave them a retailer exclusive. It's a good piece. Again, the uh, wrist issue notwithstanding. Uh, but for the next one in the line, which is Tinkerbell, and the one after that, Alice, um, I uh, don't think they repeated that. In other words, you know, luckily, they're not going to do a color um, variation for every piece in the line, which I think is a very wise decision for them not to do that. Um, it would be, number one, fairly expensive uh, for some completists to try to get both of every single piece and it would kill sales and split the attention. So I think maybe they use this to celebrate the beginning piece, but again, for Tinkerbell and for um, Alice, they decided not to do that. Um, and also probably because the coloring for Tinkerbell and uh, for Alice tends to be pretty iconic. Um, you can't really put Tink in any colors but the classic green and gold. And the same thing for the blue and white for Alice. Whereas perhaps for this first one, there's a little bit more um, ability to play around with the colors. And again, maybe um, this was a homage to the Vanessa coloration with the brunette hair and the purple tail and the um, you know, purple scales. So <clears throat> here it is. Um, again, hope you enjoy that uh, review and a little bit of a discussion of uh, what I think is the inspiration for this particular color variation as well as some of the problems with the wrist. Um, hope you enjoyed that and until next time, uh, take care.